like 37 or 36, something like that. And it's just wild. That's wild that she is one of the first women to ever last this long in the music industry. to my other channel um as you can see i have been watching this um madonna woman of the year billboard full speech i am three minutes and 45 seconds into it and i realize i did not click record on my camera this is this is crazy this is wild she has okay i'm not gonna re-watch it because i'm not gonna re-fake re i'm not gonna fake react to anything um She's basically like this is very inspirational and I'm getting emotional just her talking about it. She's talking about um when she first moved to New York and how it was just so hard. She's been raped and it's very emotional so far. So I can't wait to finish this. But I'm so sorry about the three minutes and forty five seconds that you guys missed. Like I feel so stupid about that. And also I said in my intro to that video, I was saying, um, that I really needed you guys to give me a link to the um, Truth or Dare documentary. I really want to see that so bad and I cannot find it anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. And I know that some of you guys have the hookups and have the connections. So link it in the description below because I want to watch it so bad so I can react to it and all that good stuff. But let's get into this because I'm absolutely ready. I'm so mad about that. But let's go. She's if also wrong, talking about you have to play the game. being inspired by David Bowie. What is that game? You are allowed to be pretty yes. and cute yes. and sexy. Yes. But don't act too smart. Oh. Don't have an opinion. Mm. Don't have an opinion that is out of line. She spoke about this in Human Nature. You are allowed to yes, be objectified queen. by men and dress like a slut. But don't own your sluttiness. And do not, I repeat, do not share your own sexual fantasies with the world Damn. be what men want you to be but she's really preaching here what really women preaching feel comfortable with you being around other men and finally do not age because to age is a sin you will be criticized you will be vilified yeah. and you will definitely not be played on the radio that's crazy. When I first became famous, there were new photos of me in Playboy and Penthouse magazine. Photos that were taken from art schools that I posed for back in the day to make money. They weren't very sexy. In fact, I looked quite bored. I, I was. <laughs> um, but I was expected to feel ashamed when these photos came out. And I was not. And this puzzled people. Eventually, I was left alone because I married Sean Penn. And not only would he bust a cab in your ass, <laughs> but <laughs> I was taken off the market. So for a while, I was not considered a threat. Years later, Ooh. divorced and single. She's speaking. Sorry, Sean. Back. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. I made my erotica album. <laughs> I cannot my wait to hear that. Released. I remember being the headline of every newspaper and magazine. And everything I read about myself was damning. I was called a whore and a witch. One headline compared me to Satan. That's crazy. I said, wait a minute. Isn't Prince running around with fishnets and high heels and lipstick and yeah. his butt hanging out? Yeah, exactly. Like, the... Yes. Crazy. He was. Like he was a man. So he could do that this was and the just first get time away I with it. I truly understood that women really did not have the same freedom as men. I remember feeling paralyzed. It took me a while to pull myself together and get on with my creative life. Please do not cry because I will cry. I took comfort in the poetry of Maya Angelou. Guys, I just did that Madonna video and didn't even realize I didn't say anything about the um 
the video that I'm, I don't, I don't know if I uploaded it yet or if I'm going to upload it, um, um, before. I don't know what, what I'm going to do with it, but I know it's going to be uploaded today. Um, the, I was talking about just how iconic and how legendary and how controversial the, um, 2013 VMAs was with Britney Spears, Madonna, and, um, Christina. So make sure you go check that out too, because I spilled some tea in there and I hope you guys like that video. So, and in the music of Nina Simone. She has a lot of inspiration from other people, which is queen. I like she's wishing. That's why she's just that so iconic and legendary. That I could go to for support. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this speech. Camille Paglia, the famous feminist writer, said that I set women back by objectifying myself sexually. Oh, I thought. So if you're a feminist, you don't have sexuality. You deny it. So I said, F it. I'm a different kind of feminist. I'm a bad feminist. She's a bad bitch. That's what she is. Queen, queen, queen. Speak on it, mother. This is it's getting deep, and I'm living for I'm it. So controversial. But I think the most controversial thing I have ever done is to stick around. Yes! Yes! Speak on! I just got chills when she said that. Come on. Speak on next mother. Speak on it. What I would like to say to all the women here today is this. Women have been so oppressed for so long, they believe what men have to say about them. And they believe mm -hmm. they have to back a man to get the job done. Yeah. And there are some very good men worth backing. But not because they're men. Because they're worthy. As women, we have to start appreciating our own worth. And each other's worth. Yes, ma'am. Seek out strong women to befriend, to align yourself with, to learn from. To be inspired by, yes, to collaborate with, to support, to be enlightened by. As I said before, it's not so much about receiving this award as it is having this opportunity to thank you as a woman, as an artist, as a human. Not only to the people who have loved and supported me along the way, so many of you are sitting in front of me right now, you have no idea. This is so beautiful. <laughs> you have no idea how, how much your support means. Wow, I love this so much. Wow. This was one of the most powerful speeches I've ever heard. The naysayers. To everyone who gave me hell and said I could not, that I would not, that I must not. Your resistance made me stronger. Yes, ma'am. Made me push harder. Oh my God, Kesha. Made me the fighter mm. that I am today. Made me the woman that I am today. So thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, that deserves collapse around the table. Wow, wow, wow. She really just read what women, what, what people fight for for women's rights. She really just read what people fight for. And like, that was a strong example, strong example, Madonna came into the music industry where there where there wasn't many females there was some females but there wasn't many females and she came in and really just shook the whole table up that's why i give madonna so much respect so it's what she deserves she took all the criticism so my faves nowadays can do things without being criticized and without being 
you know, it's burned at the stake. It's, it's, but the thing is with her, she is just, she does not deserve one ounce of disrespect. One ounce of it. And people that do disrespect her, I don't respect them. Their, their opinions to me are worthless. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, she really just... Everything that she just said there was facts. And she really just... She really laid down this whole, like, feminist thing. And I'm like, I'm here for that. That was everything. If you want to see this, it'll be in the description below. This was one of the most powerful speeches I've ever heard in my entire life. And that's just a fact. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, I was going to say something. I forgot. Oh, I was going to say, it's like, it's wild. She, like I said, she came into the music industry at such a young age too. And she said 36 years or 34 years, I think she said, um, at this 2016 music um, thingy. And that was two years ago. So that it's 30 six years now or 30 it's like 37 or 36 something like that and it's just wild that's wild that she is one of the first women to ever last this long in the music industry you know and is still making headlines everywhere she's and people some people think being controversial is bad i don't think being controversial is bad at all it being controversial with everything that you do you know you're a legend. You know you're a certified legend when people care that much about what you're doing. You're just the certified legend. That's just facts. But I guess it's it, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, bond.